Nasal obstruction is strongly associated with obstructive sleep apnea, although the relationship between nasal obstruction and sleep apnea is somewhat complicated and not entirely understood. Having said that, there are, there are definite associations. Uh, as a result of that, correcting nasal obstruction can have a number of benefits in the patient who's got obstructive sleep apnea. First, patients with corrected nasal obstruction tend to sleep better reporting higher quality of sleep and feeling better in the morning even if their sleep apnea is not improved. Improvements in obstructive sleep apnea occasionally occur when nasal obstruction is corrected, although this is a relatively small percentage of patients. Other benefits can still occur when nasal obstruction is corrected, including ease of using CPAP because of greater comfort using a nasal mask, rather than a full face mask, but also a number of studies have shown that the pressure required to correct the sleep apnea can be reduced three or four points when nasal obstruction is alleviated. Now that may not seem a lot, but going from, for example, a pressure of 10 on CPAP to a pressure of six on CPAP, which is not uncommon when nasal obstruction is corrected, can be much, much more comfortable to the patient making compliance or ease of sleeping with the CPAP greater, and therefore a patient more likely to continue using CPAP uh, than they were before. And since we know 40 to 70% of patients who are prescribed CPAP don't continue to use CPAP as prescribed, lowering their pressure and making their CPAP more comfortable may convert some of those CPAP failures into CPAP successes. So the, the correcting the nasal obstruction may not directly resolve their obstructive sleep apnea, and it probably won't. It certainly can be part of their overall treatment plan.